Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. And we're here to show you the master of Les Pauls, the Bernie Marsden signature beast. So fairy, cross the Mersey. Dude, that's the wrong that's, Marsden. That's the... Oh, sorry, you're right. That's Jerry Marsden. Yes. I apologies, I knew that. No one will know who no, he was. I know that they will. Now, this is Bernie Marsden's... Of um, Whitesnake fame. Of Whitesnake and... Oh, did lots of stuff with Rory Gallagher and... Um, the Moody and Marsden band. Anyway, amazing guitar player who I actually know because um, he doesn't live a million miles away from here. Lovely guy, done a few events for us and owns an insane collection of uh, vintage guitars. Wow. Of which this one is probably his most famous. Um, it's a 59 Les Paul. Um, he's used this on many, many gigs. Uh, it is nicknamed The Beast. Uh, because it is basically a beast. It's the pickups on this are hot. They're, they're, they're so they hot, are that super I've, hot. I've had to turn down the gain on my rocker verb, which doesn't normally happen to me. No, um, and it sings. And these are basically, if you're not familiar with Collector's Choice, uh, Collector's Choice is, is a, essentially a Gibson Custom Shop product where they will go and um, make. Uh, they'll meet up with an owner of a, of a genuine interesting Les Paul, could be a 59 like this one, or might be uh, the, one of the earlier ones was uh, the, one of the Peter Greens uh, mm. Les Paul, could be uh, the guy from Boston, was that Tom Schultz, John Schultz, I forget the guy's name, but you know, that was a 67 Les Paul, I think. Anyway, so they get the guitar off of the owner, uh, and they do a deal, like a, a licensing deal, and they then attempt to um, exactly recreate the guitar, warts and all. So you know all the damage, the wear. They, they. So they, can I see the back of your guitar? Yeah, it's the same. Look, it is literally the same. Um, and they use a, some very sophisticated techniques to kind of uh, X-ray the guitar, so they can see how it's chambered. They can get an idea of the type of timber, the way it was sawn. Um, they'll look at the pickups and try to reproduce those. They'll look at the hardware and the knobs and everything. And what you end up with is a guitar that uh, the artists tell me and Bernie tell me, told me is, is pretty impossible to tell the difference between you know the real thing. Uh, the setup should be like Bernie's as well. So if you look at the actual tailpiece, it's screwed almost entirely to the body. So you get yep. quite a heavy sort of break. Break angle. Um, in fact, I'm just saying on mine, of course, and on yours as well, it's even strung completely weirdly. Over the top as well. Yes. So. We're going to play. We had three of these arrive. This was a limited run of 300 guitars, I believe. They're Anton's... so heavily relicked that it barely even says Les Paul on the headstock. Have yeah. you that? It says oh, yeah. L -l 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 -l. It does, doesn't it? L -l 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 um, and we had three arrive uh, this morning and one's already sold. So actually we now have two, which are the two that Chappers have got. I've got serial number 178. And I've got number... Uh, one nine zero. So if you end up with one of these from Andertons and you end up with one of those guitars, there you go. You've actually got it on camera. Let us know because we'd like to know where our wooden children um, go. Just so you know as well, you do get the little plastic toggle switch, but Gibson always seem to ship that separately in the case, I guess, so it doesn't split or get lost or anything like that. And it comes with it. I'll show you the case, actually. Because there's that nice guy that goes around shops wallet. collecting them and making necklaces out of them. Tell me it? about it. So we're going to have a little jam or a little play. Rob's on a rock of herb. I'm on a hot rod deluxe. The only real thing to tell you about the, the way these feel to play, these these are manhand guitars, aren't they? Yes, they are. These are not guitars. for the faint of heart. Especially at the top. Yes, because at the top they get a little bit manly. I mean, once you're up to you know past twelfth, particularly fourteenth fret, there's a lot of wood. There's a lot of wood, isn't there? <laughs> I don't know how not to say that without it. So I'm using a Rockabilly 50, and here are some clean tones using the amplifier. And it My tones through a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. So here's the bridge pickup. Here's the middle setting. And the 
lovely neck pickup for warmth. It's interesting how they managed to get such a lovely open, clear, clean sound, but it, that's so powerful too. That's my phone! That's magic. No, that's why. That's how they've managed to do it. Oh, it's magic. It's like that's it's, what it is. Spangles. You probably didn't even hear that, did you? But that anyway, funny, Bob's got it. like a special magic ringtone that goes... Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. The magic potion. Um, now... Can we do dirty sounds? I think we should do dirty sounds. <laughs> Sustain test on this. It's essentially, it's one of those Les Pauls that's got the magic... It's got the magic thing that makes it do stuff. I wonder if mine will do the same. Us. Is there no? Well, I, I, I was playing this one here. Okay. Amazing! It became a weapon. Let me try that. Guitars, aren't they? It's just a sustain machine. It yes. is a sustain machine yes. with a, an interesting story. Um, Bernie, if you ever get to meet him, is an incredibly affable kind of guy. He does loads of sort of shows and tours up and down the UK, supporting you know brands like Marshall and stuff like that. Um, and uh, he's always got a story to tell you. Uh, he's played with some amazing musicians, and as I said, he's got some amazing guitars in his collection. Um, he told me a story. I don't. I hope he doesn't mind this. This sort of going on camera. He told me a story that all his guitars are in a in a lockup, uh, and he wouldn't tell me where it was, obviously, <laughs> but in a lockup, and they're all labelled for his daughters. That in the event of his passing away, oh. his daughters will know what they're worth. That's nice. But because obviously, um, he didn't want to put a price tag on them. Yeah. He's put like um, what this should buy you. So he's, oh, got like, see. he's got like some of his. You know, this should buy you a 3 Series BMW. You know, this should buy you a Mercedes SL500. You know, wow. and obviously when you get around to these ones, it's, this should buy you a four-bedroom house in Surrey. You know, it's wow. kind of like... Uh, and apparently, really? there's a, apparently there's a lot of guitars in there as well. Wow. Um, That's incredible. But yeah, but this is... The, the Beast is his most famous, without yeah. a doubt. The Beast is his most well, famous. Well, it looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. And it sounds... So let's have a little jam and then we'll do some lovely close-ups of some nicely lit kind of shots of the guitar, which hopefully you'll like. Yes. Uh, I suspect that by the time Dan has edited up this video and it's gone live, um, that these two will have found a home already, which, which is kind of, um, I suppose, is a good thing from my point of view, <laughs> but a sad thing from yours. But at least you like got to, to see them one. first here yeah, on Yeah, at least you got to see them. Uh, they're great guitars. Again, uh, as it stands, I think Collector's Choice has, has pretty much blown me away every guitar they've ever done. Um, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. You know, again, it's a substantially less than a four bedroom house in Surrey. Yes. <laughs> so, in fact, substantially less than even a one bedroom Maisonette anywhere in the so UK. So it's a win win situation all um, around, really, isn't it? But it's still, you know, it's still at the top end of what Andertons is likely to have in its guitar department. But yeah. uh, anyway, if you're interested in how much it is and you've got a, a few quid burning a hole in your pocket, give us a call. Let's jam! You. Okay. <laughs>
I have definitely been Rob Chapman. And I have most likely been the captain. And these have definitely been the Bernie Marsden beast Les Pauls from Gibson. We bid you farewell. <laughs>